Windows XP tune-up video number three. Now we're going to look at uh, adware and spyware. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of utilities that are free for use. These utilities, uh, when you use the free versions, they do not provide support for the products, uh, so you will not be able to use their support options. The first utility we're going to look at is AdAware, which deals with spyware and adware. So we're going to connect to the internet, or if you have cable or DSL modem, you can go ahead and just select the Internet Explorer icon to launch your internet. Uh, we're going to uh, switch our address to www.download.com and then either select enter or go once on the download.com home page uh, of course it's still loading here so give me just a moment uh, there's a section on this page called most popular and uh, the way you would access that is by scrolling down and of course I need to scroll to the right a little ways and here you have your most popular downloads of course we see the Ad Aware SE Personal Edition here we're going to go ahead and select that entry once on the Ad Aware SE Personal Edition uh, page go ahead and select download now okay and we're going to select save choose your save in location mine is the desktop if you need to uh, alter that information to save it to a particular folder uh, you can use the drop down menu to choose a separate drive or folder and we're going to select save okay the download is complete so now we're going to go ahead and minimize or close the Internet Explorer window and we see our installer here on our desktop uh, if you chose a different location be sure to browse to that location and we're going to double left click the installer to start the install process it says the publisher could not be verified are you sure you want to run this software uh, I'm going to go ahead and select run okay and here we're at the welcome screen and we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, close any other programs we have running uh, to uh, ensure the proper installation and we'll select next be sure to read and agree to the license agreement because I assure you it will not install unless you do agree and select next Uh, here's the destination folder. I'm going to leave it as default. If you do not have enough uh, room on your current hard drive, you can use the uh, browse option to choose a different drive and folder location. And then select next. I'm going to choose anyone who uses this computer because this is a very handy utility and I would like for all the users on the computer to go ahead and have access to it. So. I uh, will select that option and select next and it says you're now ready to install I will select next again okay here you have a couple of options uh, open help file I'm going to go ahead and deselect that entry I will leave perform a full system scan now and update uh, definition to file now and then select finish it's going to go ahead and connect and ensure you have the latest uh, definition file for uh, uh, identifying spyware and now it's starting the scan uh, this can take a little while so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video until that process completes one other thing I wanted to note was that uh, you can uh, watch the scan here it'll show you uh, the objects recognized uh, whether it's a process a module a registry key or value or a file or folder identified. Typically uh, when registry entries are located uh, it will require a restart 
uh, in order to uh, uh, remove those entries because the uh, Windows registry is only read on startup. As well, sometimes if a file cannot be removed, uh, Adware will notify you and ask you if it can run upon startup to have exclusive access to the drive. You can tell it yes, and the next time you restart, it will perform a scan with exclusive access, which makes it uh, uh, able to go ahead and delete those entries. Okay, now the uh, scan has completed. Uh, I do this scan pretty regularly, uh, so you'll notice I only have two uh, critical objects. To, to review these uh, objects, you can select critical objects and see what type they are, which these appear to be tracking cookies. I'm going to go ahead and uh, right click the first open select box and choose select all objects. Of course, that's a lot handier when you have more than two, uh, so uh, I just wanted to show you that option. Then I'm going to go ahead and select Next, and those have been cleaned. Uh, on the uh, main page, you can see the uh, definition file, which includes the date uh, uh, that the uh, definition file was loaded. Uh, you can review details about that definition file, including the date that it was created on, which was... Uh, the fifth month, 24th day of 2005. They update those definitions about once a month. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, close that program. Now we're going to look at antivirus, uh, a free utility. Uh, so go ahead and reconnect to the internet, or if you use cable or DSL modem, simply select your Internet Explorer icon. Let me uh, maximize this. Okay, uh, you will need to go to www.google.com. Uh, as you see, I'm already here. Uh, I have that as my default page. And in the search box, we're going to need to type A V G free antivirus. And then we're going to select Google Search. Well, I'm sorry, I misspelled that. Let me add another E here. And we'll go ahead and select Google Search. Okay, and the first entry is uh, AVG Free Advisor Free Antivirus Software. And it's at free.grysoft.com. That is the company name that produces that uh, particular uh, title. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And here we are at the uh, AVG Antivirus Free. We'll go ahead and select that entry. Okay, once on the next page, we're going to go ahead and scroll down. And as you note know here, you do not get uh, technical support. Uh, or updates, but that does not include uh, virus definition files. You do get those. And we'll go ahead and select the download free version. And at the top of the next page, you see here AVG free for Windows installation files. We're going to go ahead and click on the AVG 71 free. Once again, we're going to select Save. Choose your save-in location. Once again, my default is where I choose to download those things to. So we're going to go ahead and select Save once you've chosen your uh, download location. And I'm going to go ahead and pause this once again uh, while this downloads, just to save time. Okay, my download has completed. Uh, once again, I'm going to go ahead and close the Internet Explorer window. And here on my desktop, I see the AVG installer. I'm going to invoke the installation process by double-left-clicking. You can see here the publisher name, and I'm going to uh, go ahead and select yes, I want to run this file. 